Ah, that is right. Woo! Welcome to the Game Day Show. I'm going to be your host here this morning on Halloween morning. Houston, Del Nut, that is. Joining me, we got Eric Musselman here in the house. And good old Dave Inhor. Dave, it's good to see you. I ain't seen you in a while since I it's went to Ole Miss. Now I'm out there doing my... We, we've been beating the Aggies going all the way back to when I was a player. That's what we used show. to do now. <laughs> Woo, it's going to be a big time day to day here on this Halloween edition of your Big Trail Nation pregame show. And for that, let's go ahead and hop right into this. The Razorbacks, man, the spirit mm -hmm. is coming back for this team, Coach Musk. You know, talk about today's match. <laughs> Up. You know, it's not going to be down there in Jury World. We're actually going to Cal yeah. uh, Field over there to take those Aggies. What do you think? You know what? I'm curious to see how many fans are at Kyle Field yes. tonight. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Also, who doesn't love a good Halloween night game? It should be fun for them. But yeah, they definitely look ready to go this week. I think Arkansas really wants this win against yeah, Texas. They State. want it. You, you know what? The fans sure want this. The fans too. want. We're gonna talk more about those fans earlier. We're not who. We're not sure who's checking those ticket stubs at the door, but yeah. it feels like they got a little bit too well, much. Right. But it don't we'll matter. That. You know why? Because it's the best days of your life, and there's nothing better when I got Dave talking about how much you like those guys that call themselves the Aggies. Look, they've gotten arrogant <laughs> because of this streak, and there's well, nothing the worse than an arrogant Aggie. Mm. You can't tolerate. Can't do it. So they got to do something about it, right? Yeah. So we're gonna take a look at how these two teams match up. Yeah. Now, there's the obvious. Everybody says it. You know, Arkansas got to, got to run the ball better. You got to stop their running game. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's obvious. There's one matchup in this game that jumps out at you. Uh, that's Arkansas's passing against A&M's pass defense, tenth in the SEC. Plus, Felipe Franks always plays better on the road, mm. and he's got the right attitude about going on the road. I love playing away games, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, so, uh, I think the more, the more, the better. I think it's fun. It's a fun environment to be in, fun environment to be a part of. And to go out there and have a successful day makes you better. Watch for Davion Warren in this game. He had just one catch for eight yards in his last outing. But for the season, he's racked up 231 yards receiving and leads the team in touchdown catches. Plus, he's got a special bond with Franks. The chemistry doesn't just start on the field. It starts off the field. So it's actually being able to get to know the person. and. See how he's off the field, and that translates on the field also. So yeah, we're like a buddy, so we have a lot of just conversations about life, uh, things outside of football. The running game is a concern, but it's gotten better. From an average of 70 yards per game the first two weeks to 150 against Ole Miss. Head coach Sam Pittman says the offensive line has used the open date layoff to get better. Did a really good job in inside run. Nice job and move the field against the one defense. We have to continue to work together. I think they will. I think they'll be better on Saturday. I do. Pittman did something different with the open date, something these guys had not seen before. Instead of spending the week working with the newcomers to develop future depth, he had his guys work on the game plan for the whole two weeks. It's all about Texas a and Emphasize tackling every single day. So we emphasize defeating blocks every single day. Um, so it's just we, we still got our fundamental work. Um, but it was all focused towards Texas a &M. Getting Bumper Pool back at linebacker should help in stopping maybe the best run game the Hogs have faced so far. But the defensive front will come armed with a few tricks to go after veteran quarterback Kellen Mond. We have to do a good job on defense of collapsing the pocket, not letting, not letting him escape, and you know, not just not letting them get anything for free. You know, we want we want them to we want to make them work for everything they get. If we can make them one dimensional in any phase of the game, we got a good game. The difference in this game might come down to another open date strategy by Pittman. Conventional wisdom dictates that it's a time of healing. This team did heal up, but not because the head coach backed away from contact in practice. I think we kind of amped it up, to be honest with you. We know we're going to be in a physical game. You know, we, we went good on good several times this week for the physicality of what we know we're going to get Saturday night. We banged, we banged heads pretty good this week. Mm. Yeah, and I think that's the key to this game. Sam Pittman did not treat those two weeks or even one of them as a rest opportunity. These guys have been getting after it, as he said, so they'll be ready for a physical game. Yeah, you heard the players kind of talk about one dimension. A lot of people said, why didn't Old Miss just run the ball? It's because they got behind. You know, the, the turnovers allowed the offense to get ahead just a little bit. The pick sixes, you know, is that kind of what needs to happen today as far as switching up their game plan and making AM one dimensional? Sure. I mean, if, if you can make them do either, but I think what, they may do this themselves. They yeah. may say, hey, yeah. we've we got to run the ball. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they're not throwing it, 
and it's a little bit easier to stop the run when you know what's coming. And I hope they, it's, it's called rope, rope a dope, rope yeah. an Aggie. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> now, well, I will one say, say one thing. It's been different this year, and it's been a little wacky as far yeah. as road games are concerned. Usually, when teams are on the road, it's a huge misadvantage, but with COVID-19 restrictions, you know, that's not so much the case, but there's something fishy going down there at Texas A&M, Tara. Cool. Bit. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. You know, you look back at that game that they had, where they hosted Florida, and I'm not gonna lie, that looked like a whole lot more. It looks sold out. Yeah, it looks sold out. Capacity, but you know, because when you look at Arkansas's home games, they don't look at all like it looked at Kyle Field that week. It's the first time though since 2014 that this game is not going to be played at Arlington, uh, at AT&T Stadium. And the good thing about playing there was. That was technically a neutral game site, even though I do think that there were typically more Aggie fans there, especially the last few years. But now having to travel to Kyle Field where there were a ton of fans at that game, I mean, just look at that. Yeah. Oh, it's wild, but it's going to be a challenge. Texas A&M claims the stadium was at 25% capacity. It sure looked like a lot more than that. But here's what the Razorbacks had to say about playing this game in College Station. I think the more the, more the better. I think it's fun. It's a fun environment to be in. A fun environment to be a part of and to go out there and um, you know have a successful day makes it even better. Right, let's go show them what, what we are capable of. Let's go show them who we are because at, at some point people are just looking at oh, Arkansas is another team. So we just go out there and just uh, just go just flow. like you have to bring your own juice basically because you're sometimes your fans can't come so you go out there you have to start fast you have to have to basically have your own motivation on the road and so that's that's what we do we bring our own motivation. You know, I actually talked with a beat writer from Texas A&M, and he said that the reason it looked like that was because, you know, it, it was 25% capacity, but everyone was not social distancing. Uh -huh. uh, I you know, ain't buying you know, it. They wanted to saw them off and do their whole thing, so that's why it technically looked You know, like that. I, and I feel like they're going to need it today yeah, down there at College Station because there's something about that spirit at the Razorback that's come back uh, to, this, to this community. And, you know, me being the coach that I am, you have to give credit where credit is due. So I want to say a, a first initial game ball. I'm be giving out game it. balls all day long. I want to bring in the guy who brought the spirit back to the University of Arkansas, Sam Pittman. We actually got him in studio here today. Give there it up go, for him. Give you the game ball. We appreciate <laughs> it. Feel like it's the best days of our lives once again, Coach. We really appreciate it.